Weekend couldn't have helped tourism officials efforts to promote this area as a family friendly destination. This weekend looked more like the old spring break days. News 13's Anna Hoffman continues our team coverage tonight, telling us how some visitors are already rethinking their decision to come to this real fun beach. Some visitors who traveled to Panama City Beach this weekend say the mayhem was like a wet blanket on their vacation. It was kind of scared us. We would rather just go back to the hotel and be done with it. Yeah, so we just we canceled plans and just went back home. For other families, the unruly behavior made them question if they wanted to stay. It was scary. I've, I've been hearing about different things around the area and, you know, people just being crazy. And so, yeah, I said to my husband, I hope that's not what the rest of this trip is like because it's scary. Like, I don't want to be outside alone at, at nighttime if that's what's going to be going on. Panama City Beach officials have worked hard over the last few years trying to distance themselves from the old spring break image and appeal to more families. Don't come to our community if you're looking for trouble. Bay County's Tourist Development Council Executive Director Dan Rowe says these visitors are not their target audience and they don't reflect what this community is really about. The activities that happened, the lawless behavior that happened this weekend was not indicative of our, our community, our visitors. I mean, there's nothing about this that is really part of the Panama City Beach brand. Other tourists say the few people testing the limits are preventing others from enjoying the real fun beach. At a certain point, it becomes kind of... It becomes wrong, like even more wrong, because you know that you're putting other people in danger, not just the person that you necessarily have a problem with. In Panama City Beach, Anna Hoffman, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Roe wants to assure visitors that Panama City Beach is a safe place to be, and he is thankful for all the law enforcement that stepped up this weekend.